Now that we've labeled our water line, created a center line file, created a profile file, we're going to create a report. So you go to surface, go down to input edit profile file. There's our firewater01, hit open. And there's all our input at elevation. So we're going to go down here to report. And in the report, we're going to check report stations at profile centerline points, stationed by another reference centerline. Report stations at reference centerline points are actually unchecked that. So we're going to just hit OK. There's some other settings here, but pick your Firewater 01 centerline. You'll do it again. And then you can actually click, you see it asks you to report stations here. This is if you are inputting a profile and you're not needing, there's not a grade break, but there's a structure that you want to report a station at. For us, there's not, but like a T in the middle of the road or something might call for that. So we're just going to hit enter. And then what I have defaulted is I want, I like to do this formatting myself. So here's the station, uh, elevation, and we'll do slope, distance, description, hit, um, and we'll do display. And so here's the report. So now we've got a report that shows us all the stations and elevations, but there's some duplicates in here. And so what I do is I just go control A, control C, and then I open up a session of Word. So we open up a blank session of Word and we paste it in here. And then we'll get rid of this duplicate stationing. As you can see, the waterline lateral is really at 169.08. So because the engineers rounded everything to a tenth. And out in the field, it's not really going to matter either, but we could change that in the profile so it's really 169.08. And then the field crew's not having to press next twice to get to the next station. But these are basically the stations that they're going to stake for the water line. And it works out really great. The crew will also know to do the intermediate stations, but you could program that in also. You could literally, you could make the report where it reports it every 25 feet, and the crew, as they're staking, can confirm that the data collector has the right profile in it as they're staking. Thank you for watching Chromatic Land Surveying.